Nestled at the foot of the green mountains, iced in fresh snow, Dorset is a Vermont classic. The buildings echo the landscape, white clapboard and green shutters. A longtime retreat for city dwellers, Dorset offers escape and much more. All things outdoor, delightful dining, and the arts. Here in the center of town, take a stroll and take in the charm, or take a look down for a hint at the history. It's hard to tell in all the snow, but these are marble sidewalks. Turns out some 490 million years ago, the conditions were just right here for some of the finest marble in the world to start to form. That marble brought industry to Dorset. The nation's first commercial marble quarry opened here in 1785, and the one-time farm town flourished. Businesses opened and stayed, including the longest continuously operating inn in the state, the Dorset Inn. They were just the temporary caretakers, I guess that's the way I see it for us. Lauren and Steve Bryant purchased this piece of history in 2008. It dates back to 1796. It speaks to quintessential Vermont colonial inn. And we don't try to stray very far from that. This always had a very strong culinary vibe, which is really our passion. Our big focus has been to continue the culinary excellence. To catch up with the inn's executive chefs, we took a 20 minute trek out onto nearby Emerald Lake. You can walk on water here when it's frozen, of course. When you first go out, you want to drill holes 10 yards at a time just to check depth. Six inches, safe, not a problem at all. Last week was tamales on ice. This week is pozole on ice. Neil Phillip and John Gatewood run the kitchen at the Dorset Inn, but you can frequently find them ice fishing. At least once a week, hopefully two times a week. It helps me connect with where that food comes from. I feel too often people just go to the store and grab a package of chicken and don't think about what that chicken did for us. The possible catches are plentiful. Bass, smallmouth and largemouth. We're fishing for northern pike and we're fishing for perch. So I'm getting a lesson in popping a hole. Popping a hole. Popping a hole. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to start up the auger. Okay. There you hey! go. Yeah. <laughs> we set traps or tip-ups using shiners, little bait fish. There we are. And then we cross our fingers. And we cross our fingers and wait. That's right. it. <laughs> and before long... And it's a northern pike. Not a fish they can serve back at the Dorset Inn. But later that day they are searing scallops. While they brown, we take a tour. We have 25 rooms on three different floors. We incorporate some suites that would allow for a separate living room with a um, fireplace or a whirlpool bathroom. There are fewer and fewer properties like this in Vermont, so we try to keep the look and feel. It's a warm, kind of slightly more traditional property, and so we just kind of try to maintain that. The Bryants know plenty about maintaining properties. They own several in the state, two more right down the road in Dorset the Barrows House, and the new bakery in town, Dorset Rising. We're a full-line bakery, so we make our own bread. We make warm case pastries like cookies and croissants. All from scratch, even the most intricate sweets. Coffee's obviously a must. They serve breakfast and lunch. Soups, salads, sandwiches, paninis. Meantime, dinner's ready at the Dorset Inn Tavern. Take your pick. Those scallops now seared to perfection with roasted Brussels sprouts and pickled beet butter sauce, or fried chicken with braised kale and sriracha honey. My choice is roasted spaghetti squash and Vermont goat cheese ravioli, bathed in a roasted red pepper cream sauce. Mm. Chef Gatewood knows what he's doing. Top it off with a little wine and some very interesting company at the bar. We travel all over the world and I never can wait to get back. Actor Jonathan Goldsmith shot to celebrity status playing the most interesting man in the world in those iconic Dos Equis beer ads. He happens to live one town over. My father and I love to go fishing and we would come to this area all the time. So my wife was a Beverly Hills girl. I didn't know how she was going to take to Vermont, but she did and we've been here for eight years. Now 80, Goldsmith started his career when he was 18. Name a star, he's worked with them. 
Burt Lancaster, Joan Fontaine, Judy Garland. Starred in over 350 shows. One of the tabloids at the time did a, a story on me. I was killed more different ways than apparently anybody else in Hollywood. Because he played a villain. And I think it was because I don't look like the villain, hopefully, and I didn't give the storyline away. You were the twist. I, perhaps, <laughs> yeah. A twist works well with the latest chapter in his story. Remember, he doesn't always drink beer. I'd like to name a star after you. Which one? The sun. <laughs> this calls for tequila. Now the, the spokesman tequila. for Astral Tequila, his new persona Astral. is a little quirky, but as distinguished as ever. I, I feel so lucky this and so grateful, and I love what I've done. If you're lucky, you just might run into Goldsmith. He's often here in Dorset at his tavern of choice. This is quintessential old New England. It's marvelous.